Hello, my name is Keith, Amateur Radio Call, WD4PTJ. And you're probably asking, what's that noise behind you, Keith? Well, stand by and I'll tell you. Most of the videos that I've done here on this channel have been about ham radio. But some of you may have seen the video that, videos that I've done before about uh, EAMs, emergency action messages that the United States Air Force sends out over shortwave radio. Well, this video today is going to be a, about another type of uh, radio uh, stations that are on shortwave radio, and that's number stations. Number stations, supposedly, the theory goes, are used by intel intelligence agencies of governments around the world to send messages out to spies. Now, a lot of people will say, well, why in this day and time of the Internet would uh, in intelligence agencies bother to use shortwave radio to send a message? Well, emails or any type of uh, message that you sent over the Internet can be hacked. Cell phone conversations can be intercepted. Shortwave radio transmissions, people may be able to determine where the transmission is coming from, what country, but who's receiving it, there's no way for them to find out. Number stations are a one-way message. Uh, it's only sent to the spy out in the field. He's not responding back. It's giving him instructions, supposedly, about uh, what to do in his uh, job of gathering intelligence. So a series of numbers will be sent out, and he'll have what's called a one-time one pad. There, he has a one-time pad, and the station that's sending out the uh, signal to him has a one-time pad. This pad is what's used to decode the... Uh, the message be, that's being sent. And there's various uh, types of theories as to how a one-time pad is set up. You know, I won't go into all of that. But supposedly, this is foolproof. There's no way to decode uh, the message that's being sent over a one-time pad. That pad will be used, that one message, and it will be thrown away. Uh, if the same series of numbers were sent the next day or the next week, it would mean it would be mean something totally different because it would be uh, used a different one-time pad. So that's how the messages are sent out. There was a Russian spy several years ago by the name of Jack Barsky, uh, very well-known uh, spy that. Uh, the FBI finally caught on to, and he supposedly helped, he turned, he helped the uh, United States, he helped the FBI and the CIA, and as a result of that, he stayed in the United States. And there was a 60 Minutes uh, uh, segment one time on him that you can, you can find it on YouTube. But he said that in his time as a Russian spy in the United States, that he would receive messages every Thursday night at 9.15, uh, number station messages from a station that he thought was uh, in Cuba. So what I'm going to do today is show you some videos that I've made of a uh, number station that it is pretty well believed uh, comes out of Cuba. It's... Uh, known as HM01 or the Cuban lady. And you'll hear a computerized female voice calling out a series of numbers. Uh, it'll begin with a buzzing uh, sound and supposedly some of the first sets of numbers that she'll give will probably be identifying the station. Then there'll be a set of numbers that may be identifying what uh, spy what operative out in the field this message is for and finally she'll go into a lengthy uh, series of numbers being sent that will be the actual message the particular one that i recorded uh went on for 
a pretty good while. It went on for probably a half an hour. So I didn't record every bit of that. You know, I didn't think that people wanted to sit and listen to these numbers being called out for that long. We know that, that uh, this has been used. That, uh, there was a, a spy that was caught in, in London. He was a Czech spy. He was posing as, a, as an art dealer. And they found, when they caught him, they found uh, one-time pads that were hidden inside a bar of soap. The way I found this uh, and was able to record this, there is a website. It's uh, preom.org, P-R-I-Y-O-M-G dot org. And they have a series of, of uh, software-defined radios set up. And they uh, record, or sent out live, excuse me, over the internet, uh, these number stations. And you can go to that site, and it will tell you what the next one coming up is. I mean, maybe at the top of the hour, if you go there 15 minutes to the hour, it'll say the next stations, you know, will be on at the top of the hour, and it'll list stations that are there. And then you can click on whatever station you want to listen to, and then you'll be able to listen over the internet to that station. Well, what I've done was set up my own radio here, my ham radio uh, HF transceiver, which, of course, will receive all over the shortwave band, to the frequency that they posted that the message was going to be coming over. And that's how I managed to get uh, this message recorded. So it's kind of it's kind of fascinating in one sense to sit and wonder what the message is. Nobody's ever been able to that we know to decipher one uh, who it's being sent to. Uh, I know there was a story of a series of a group of uh, of Cubans here in the United States a few years ago that uh, supposedly were spies for Cuba that were receiving messages and they, I supposedly, that they admitted after they were caught, that they were basically being towed and the plan was for them to assassinate some uh, anti-Cuban uh, government, uh, Cuban Americans that were living here, probably in, in Florida, uh, that that was part of the plan that, that they were being sent messages to uh, through the number station. So. It's, you know, like I say, it's very, very fascinating. You can go if you have a, a shortwave radio. You know, uh, that's all it will take to listen to this. And find these, these uh, stations. Go to the website that I, that I mentioned. And uh, you can listen to them for yourself. So here's a little bit of the, uh, of the Cuban lady. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero seis seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete cuatro cero siete cuatro cuatro uno seis ocho cinco cero uno cuatro uno ocho uno uno cero dos seis cuatro cuatro siete uno dos seis dos uno cero siete siete And there you have the shortwave number station known as HM01 or the Cuban Lady. There is another uh, station out of Russia that's uh, referred to as the Buzzer. Uh, maybe we'll do a video on that one sometime. If there's enough interest in it, uh, uh, let us know in the comments section and you know maybe we'll do a video about that on another day. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, 73.